Nearly 3,000 delegates from 195 country parties of the UNCCD, United Nations organizations, intergovernmental and civil society organizations will come together to debate and arrive at solutions towards improving the living conditions of people in dry lands. Today marks exactly 51 days before Namibia hosts the COP11 conference of the parties to the United Nations Conference to Combat Destification. I would like to reiterate Namibia's cabinet has endorsed Namibia's hosting of COP11 late in February. And this has given us the necessary political backing and has enabled us to mobilize the necessary support from all line ministries, civil societies, private sector, to make COP11 a great success. So to all Namibians as hosts, we must be part and parcel of hosting COP11 in whatever way we are going to find ourselves. Solutions on maintaining and restoring land and soil productivity and mitigating the effects of drought, amongst other things, will be addressed. Each of these issues are critical to Namibia with the current drought situation faced at the moment. It is for, for us a pleasure to support and facilitate the kind offer of Namibia to host COP11. And we look forward very much, on our ministers, to come along your work and make sure that it will be a resounding success. One remaining challenge faced is translating the increased awareness on this issue into national policies through the alignment of national action programs with the strategy. The latest reports according to the UNCCD are that 168 countries have declared themselves affected by desertification, whereas in the 90s the number was 110 countries. This could in turn either mean that desertification is spreading or the understanding of being affected has increased amongst countries. The just signed host country agreement sets out the roles and responsibilities of Namibia with regards to hosting of the UNCCD COP11. Reporting for the News on One, I'm Bramalde English.